In this video we're going to look at how to use the Cisco DSP calculator. Uh, the DSP calculator is a free tool available at Cisco.com. You have to have a CCO account which is free uh, to access the tool. So you log in and you search for DSP calculator and find this screen. Um, and it's a, it's a step by step process. I've opened the help in another tab so you can see it. The help is very good. It explains what the tool is trying to do and the steps, step by step, how to use the tool. Uh, and then it explains some of the caveats and gives you an example of uh, a, a particular application. Um, you have to understand, of course, that this uh, tool is designed specifically to figure out how many DSPs you need in the form of uh, PVDM modules, and it's not there to do any kind of super in-depth uh, DSP engineering or c CPU engineering. Um, so we start out with what kind of router are we using because your DSPs are going to be router based. In this case I'm going to se uh, select a 2811 router uh, and then you select the router iOS and then we have to select the different TDM services that are being used uh, and in these s s um, drop downs you're going to select the different cards that are populating your particular router so I'm going to select an FXS um, and a, uh, I don't want a T E one, I want a T one. There we go. <clears throat> and I'll add an F X O as well. Uh, where's Vic two? F X O. Okay. Um, I've got these, and then it shows you the maximum supported channels for that particular card. And then over here, what you want to, they want you to do is to fill in the maximum number of calls at a given complexity, codec complexity level, so uh, how many calls at, a, at the busiest moment uh, over the course of a day that you might have calls on this FXO card uh, in uh, a particular complexity. Um, so I'm going to say 2 here because that's G711. <coughs> we'll say 2 here for G711. And in this case I'm going to say um, 12 calls at a low at a low complexity, six at a medium, and six at a high, and I'm just pulling those numbers out of the sky. Uh, if I was, if I had another module, uh, I'd put it in here. Let's say we've got an HD2VE that uh, also has a T1 card in it, Vic1 MFT T1. Oh, no, not two of them. I want one of them. There we go. And let's give that 20 for medium complexity calls. Then I ask a couple of questions about how are you using this system. <clears throat> if you're doing DSP sharing or not. DSP sharing is the the ability for the DSPs that exist on the service module and the DSPs that exist on the motherboard to be used um, amongst the devices. So for instance if I didn't have enough DSP for 24 calls on this uh, VWIC 1MFTT1 card uh, and I enable sharing and then I could use some of the DSP resources that are available on the motherboard in slot 0 um, of the router. DSP sharing according to Cisco's help key uh, if you go in here and look at it it says this is something that you should probably do in a very rare instances. Seldom used <clears throat> it's not the default and you should only do it when you really know what you're doing and it's really absolutely necessary. Uh, you don't want to under provision your system. Uh, secure voice. Uh, secure voice is enabled by use of several different protocols. Uh, the protocol we're concerned with of course is secure RTP. In this case I'm going to leave it as no. And then are you using H320? H320 is the uh, protocol that will be used if I was using ISDN to bundle some of the B channels on my ISDN uh, circuit, say a T1 or an E1, to um, allow for a bonded channel to come up to pass video. In this example I'm not going to do that, so we've got some stuff configured there. The next thing I've got to do is I've got to tell the system what kind of codecs are going to be used for uh, transcoding and video conferencing and then if I've got secure conferencing. 
uh, we're going to leave the secure part out of this. Uh, so for transcoding, what you have to do, transcoding again, is changing the codec from one to the other. So if I've got a high complexity codec coming in and I need to change it to a low complexity codec to go out, uh, that would be transcoding. <clears throat> in this case, there's two different types of transcoding uh, signified. Transcoding by itself is G711 to something else. Universal is anything to anything. Uh, Universal is more supported on the PVDM3 uh, modules that would go in the ISR G2 series of routers. I selected a G1 router, so I'm going to leave the Universal transcoding alone. And I'm going to say, well, we might take in um, four four calls that have to be transcoded from a higher from a medium complexity to, to a low complexity. The number you enter here should be in the heavier, if you will, the more complex of the two uh, codecs that need to be uh, translated from. Then you have video conferencing, or excuse me, voice conferencing, 8, 16, and 32 party uh, at certain rates. The question that you must answer here is uh, if I'm doing uh, any kind of conferencing, who, uh, what would be the the highest complexity codec or the lowest complexity codec that would show up on a conference? So if I did an eight-party conference and six guys sh showed up on the conference at G711 and then somebody somebody showed up at G729, well, I've got to account for that. Um, 8, 16, and 32 are the sizes that you get in this particular example. Uh, if I have three-party conferences, then I have to fit it inside of an eight-party. They're going to allocate it based on eight-party conferencing. So I'm going to put six. I could have as many as six medium complexity calls that come in. Uh, they're going to go with this uh, into this eight-party conference. Um, we're not doing any secure. So I go next, and then it tells me the PVDMs that I need and where they need to go. It tells me, it reminds me the iOS uh, and the router platform. It says I need a 64 PVDM 264 and a PVDM 248, one of each. And the allocation, the 64 needs to be put into router slot zero. Shows me that it's allocated 93% of that capability, leaves 7% available. And then in slot one, it has preloaded DSPs to take care of the uh, <clears throat> the VWIC uh, in the NMHD2VE. Uh, and then the it shows me the transcoding and from uh, medium complexity transcoding and uh, six eight-party conferences at G729. That is the DSP calculator. Um, again, it's free. Just got to have a Cisco account, which is free. Log in and search for DSP calculator. Anything that you're not sure about in the inputs, by all means, use the help function uh, and it will explain uh, what it's looking for uh, in the inputs.